75 derail brake brakes. Well, doggone. <laughs> I was trying to understand somebody out there and uh, derail, you come in there and took out my radio, my receive. Hey, uh, I think I'm pointed up there in the Carolinas, a little bit between there and New York. Hey, derail, what are you doing down there in Georgia? What about it? Uh, not a whole lot on this end, man. Just, uh, just got some pizza delivered and uh, spent a little time with the kids, man. We just relaxing today. Hey, y'all, 445, we ain't on the run today, man. We ain't going every which way. We just uh, chillaxing. 445, Mississippi, D-Rail, back to you. No doubt about it. Hey, uh, D-Rail, yeah, I heard that uh, chillaxing. I was in the Mobile a while ago, and I heard uh, 804. He was the first one I talked I, I, I heard that said uh, chillaxing, <laughs> and you're the second person. Hey, D-Rail, that's what we doing, man. Right after some yard work, we're chillaxing. That's the shotgun. <laughs> Roger on that. Well, shame on the mess. Two times in one day already. <laughs> well, shoot you, man. 445. You got a big hammer in here, man. Uh, it's not uh, real often we get a real good connect. And I guarantee you, you're, you're directly connected to Georgia right about now. Hey, y'all, 445. I wasn't going to wait on the rest of Georgia to call you. I was going to let you know myself. Radio man, derail right back. All right, back there, D-Rail. You're sounding good. Sounding good on that D-Rail audio, no doubt about it. Hey, man, I, I've been hearing you uh, most of the morning out there listening to your, your talk show. You got it going on. I don't know if you're at your uh, number one station or at your workbench, but uh, you got it going on, Tim <laughs> Yeah, I'm out here in the shack here, 445. I'm not uh, done uh, building the mule. It's not uh, completed yet, so I'm just on this uh, starter kit. <clears throat> what I'm working right now is technically my final box, but it will become my driver in the long run, that's for sure. But yeah, I'm in the shack here, 445. It took me a while to get on in this shack, too, man. I was on the, uh, I was in the garage, get by, but I'm in the shack now, and... You're right about conditions. It's been everywhere, man. Uh, it's one of those days that that beam becomes a ground plane they're breaking. I sometimes. Hey, no doubt about it, D-Rail. <laughs> yeah, mine's been a ground plane uh, ever since I got on it. I ain't been on it long, about an hour. But D-Rail, hey, good to hear you out there, my friend, 445. We're going to sit back here in cool down mode, Jimbo. Then for on the cool down mode. Well, you got a great big hammer down, that's for sure, 445. Uh, uh, most of the time, uh, we'll have a, somebody been, uh, trying to interrupt their transmit, but it's soul control. You've got soul control of my Georgia radio. All right, 445, it was a pleasure, man. Always a pleasure getting to bump it down with you. I just have walked back out here myself, man, so I'm not really sure what is rolling where, but uh, if the rest of the conditions in the other states are this good, it's going to be a heap and a lot of fun. Take care, 445, derail, rocking on. All right, D-Rail, when I say cool down mode, I ain't talking about cooling the tube down. I'm talking about cooling my coax down. I'm still running 213 back here, Denvo. Uh. <laughs> yeah, Roger on the 213. Yeah, stuff would get warm, man. I had, a, I had some uh, RG393 uh, on the back of, uh, uh, of the box I'm working right now. It's just like a little jumper connection. Uh, to go to uh, uh, to my engine five eights uh, temporarily when I was in there in the garage, man, and I'd key down uh, after one key, man. I, I'd let off, and that sucker would it'd be pretty hot, man. It wouldn't be um, you know like burn your hand hot, but you know real, real warm for sure. It definitely wasn't handling the juice. I got my uh, daughter over here next to me, man. She's over here uh, uh, flipping little switches on my bird meter and saying audio and moving my mouse around. <laughs> Take care of 445, D-Rail on the mail. All right, D-Rail. Yeah, let me get down and uh, cool this uh, junk down. Hey, D-Rail, pleasure's on this end, 445. I'm going to shut this video gate off. I'll send it to you. Bye, bye, bye. And it's always a pleasure. Take care of 445. Derail getting down. Put the stick smoke on you, and I'm trying to do it right now if I can. Derail, a walking eagle. Hey, Derail, a little walking eagle on the coast, mate. Hey, Oklahoma, shotguns. 
I hear two or three stations saying derail. I heard, um, I couldn't make out a 28 though, but I could hear two or three of y'all calling derail, but I could not make a 28 and I could not. Derail was standing on by and reading the mail. Derail. Time for a derail, 152. Hello, derail. Hey, derail, Mr. Walking Eagle. Hey, derail, Mr. Walking Eagle. Hello, derail, Mr. Walking Eagle in Virginia, Bree. Well, good Lord in the quarter, Walking Eagle, you calling me off the backside of my beam, the plugger. <laughs> I knew the conditions was like that today, man. Hey, y'all, uh, Walking Eagle, I'm working this stretch six on 40, brown plane, Walking Eagle, derail right back. Get around you right on derail with 445, was tearing my ass up, man. I was down there talking on like four and then up on 11 and 445 was fucking me up so bad I had to come back up to 28, right? <laughs> right you on that. Yeah, 410 on that, uh, Walking Eagle. I'm not even pointing at you, man. I'm talking to you off the backside of my beam. Hey, y'all, uh, Walking Eagle, D-Rail said I'm pointed out to the west side and I'm talking to you on the backside of my beam. Walking Eagle, D-Rail, pulling back. Ten rounds, you're right on D-Rail. That thing's talking on the back, out his backside, man. That beam is doing just like a couple of cutting figures I know, man. It's talking real good out his backside. Man, that is how man, man. Man, when I was looking up there towards Illinois, that cutting figure talking just as good out his side, too, man. Oh, Mother Nature must be doing real kind to you today, Brick. What you suppose? Yeah, right, on that, uh, Walking Eagle. Yo, uh, 445, man, he had me about 30, 40 pounds, man. Uh, that's, uh, that's as good as the signals I've ever had on 445 over here at my, uh, at my stack of bricks. But, uh, shoot you up, man. Real good mother nature today. I've talked in, uh, Florida and in the Great Lakes and the Northeast and out to Oklahoma and good Lord and quarter, man. Conditions have been everywhere. And every time I'm pointed down south of Florida, the west side's yelling at me. When I'm pointed down west, I got northeast corner calling me out the back. So this uh, uh, six on 40, 40 foot long beam is a ground plane today they're breaking. Hey, there's somebody out there hollering for double R. It's one of those kind of doggone days, man. That's for sure never real. It's almost hard to talk. Every which side. Man, if I can't figure out what the problem is, Radio, you almost can't talk to him. Go ahead. Well, yeah, no doubt about it. I right, hear uh, Walking Eagle, D Raw. I said, I'm gonna ease this thing back in the cut, man, and I'll bump it down with you later on. I might roll up there to the northeast corner there in a few. Hey, y'all, uh, Walking Eagle, D Raw said, I might roll in there uh, to the northeast corner in a few and, and take that signal meter way on over to the right. Take care, Walking Eagle. Derail out the backside on the mail. Didn't run you right on, man. Hey, derail, I was so busy watching that needle, man. I was going to see if you could sit down with a good shoulder. And I want to see if you could put that needle in the corner like a bad actor child and leave it there until you say get out of there. Hey, derail, come on, bump it back around. Stop, stop, stop. Hold it one more time, break. Is you reading the mail? I think his antenna sticks straight up and down like a good soldier. Yeah, shotgun Hollywood. Like I said, Andy, come to stick and stay and just come to say, hey, hey, hey. Hey, shotgun. Hey, Yardbird, what about New Jersey? Who's that Yardbird out there? Hey, man, who's that coming in my conversation? You don't hear me talking to D-Rail, Cotton Bigger? 434 in the car. He'd probably do it if he wanted to, man. It's too hot. He'd probably back reading the mail like everybody else. He'd probably bump it around when he wants to. He ain't going to do it now. Who's that in there coming there interrupting my conversation, Brick? Let me see you one more time. I heard two or three stations say uh, derail, but it's uh, rough and tough. I got the, I could hear the northeast off the backside of my beam. I'm going to spin this 6 on 40 over there to the northeast corner and see what's popping up that direction. Y'all take care out there around the west side. Derail, rolling this beam around. <laughs> 